Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today this family of five is going to test our metal with our 72 hour kits. Yes, we are going to go out in the woods and survive with nothing but what I have here in my family of five 72 hour kit. Wait, I thought we were just going camping. No, this is going to be us versus death, survival of the fittest. We're going to see whether our kits can keep us alive. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. Well, Becca, what are you going to do when zombies attack the house or you, we have some sort of communist uprising? I'm going to take that. Well, fine. We're going to go out in the woods and we're going to test both of our 72 hour kits and we're going to see whose is better. You guys ready to go survive? Yeah! Uh. I brought a fan. <laughs> I'm going to kill a deal too. We got a place where we can pull over and not interfere with traffic. We got a spring coming out of the rocks where we got some fresh water. Did it taste good? Oh, it tastes good. Oh, you even got a little spot where I can camp down there. What do you think, babe? Is this a perfect spot? Let's do it. What do you think about this? Oh, oh, so warm. oh that water's perfect. Uh, so I think I think we found a decent spot for your 72 hour kit. I think we did. It fits! Yeah, this is why you buy a 16 foot trailer right here, folks. Well, apparently Becca's 72 hour kit includes sunscreen and swim trunks for the boys. So they're getting changed to go swim in the river. And while they do that, I'm going to get my real 72 hour kit ready to go. These two bags are my 72 hour kit. Everything we need for the entire family. That's a family of five. This bag contains all of our sleeping and shelter needs, a tent, sleeping bags, and mats for everyone. And over here is everything else. So let me take this out, get set up, and I'm gonna show you what I put in my 72 hour kit. What's the matter, buddy? I need to go poo-poo. Now, do you wanna use mommy's 72 hour kit or do you wanna use daddy's 72 hour kit? My, mine's cool too. Both of the bags I'm using for my 72 hour kits are waterproof dry bags because the stuff I have in here, it's useless if it gets wet. All right, let me show you what's in the top of my bag first. I've got this dry box here with a couple of rechargeable headlamps. I have an emergency response radio that's both solar powered and crank powered. I also have this satellite phone which works with the Iridium satellite network. It allows me to call and send text messages anywhere in the globe as long as I can see the sky. This is a battery bank that has solar panels as well. I can charge my phone wirelessly this way and it's got little ports for plugs so I can charge all my other electronics. The next thing in my bag is my first aid kit because when you need it, you need it fast. This one's from a company called Survivewear. It's a Virginia company, a little mom and pop operation. This has a lot of things in it and I've supplemented it with a few things of my own as well. All right, so this is all the things that come with the kit. You got biodegradable web wipes, knife, multi-tool, signaling mirror, uh, scissors, a little saw, some other little odds and ends. But the nice part is that everything is labeled and you got a little bit of survival stuff and a lot of first aid stuff. But I added a few things to my kit. I added some large gauze and surgical dressings for bigger scrapes and wounds. I also got burn dressing. It's something you put on a burn immediately after it happens. So it helps uh, relieve pain and also reduces scarring. Here's a set of gauze with a chemical called quick clot. It helps stop bleeding. So if someone's got a real gusher, you go and use this in addition to other first aid techniques to try to stop the bleeding quickly. And then I've got some comfort first aid items. I got some Dayquil and Nyquil. I've got some throat lozenges, some Neosporin, some uh, poison ivy wipes, 
back pain, pain relief and itch relief, some Imodium AD, and this all fits inside the first aid pouch. If anyone in your family has special medical needs, make sure those medications make it into the 72 hour kits. This right here is my cooking equipment. Big thing of isobutane, a little backpacking stove, and I've got a three cup tea kettle. Next in the bag is our toiletries, and right on the top is dust masks. We got toothbrushes and toothpaste, diaper wipe, feminine hygiene products, trash bag, tissue paper, a notepad and some pencils, hand towels, razors, wet wipes, and some shampoo, conditioner, eating utensils, and some fire starting stuff. We have diapers, pull-ups, and toilet paper. And I've got four of these life straws. They're filters that you just drink through. This packet contains something called chlorofloc, which is a chemical that both cleans water and makes it taste better. Next, I've got adhesive body warmers. These things last 12 hours. I have five rain ponchos and I have five emergency survival bivvies. I've got this book. It's on field medicine or survival medicine. Well, everyone but me is in their swimsuits, so I think I need to stop talking and go get changed because that river needs to get swam in. My wife's 72 hour kit may or may not have included sunscreen in my swim trunks. <laughs> there you go, a nice soaking rock. Yeah, that's a good. I'm doing it fast. It's a baby toad. Look, that is the tiniest little toad. Look at him. All right, well, let's go upstream and explore a little bit. Can you hold me onto this rock, Dad? I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> it's strong! Ah, no! Ah! White water rafted without the raft. The boys are having a ball. They just go upstream, plop down in a swift current, and let it drift down and just Rinse and repeat. You enjoyed this, Becca? <laughs> I am. <laughs> this is pretty perfect, actually. You want to ride on Daddy's shoulders? Yeah. Okay. Oh, big. That's cool. <laughs> oh, there's my other son. He's drifting away. This is so much fun, but I better get some dinner ready so that the troops can eat as soon as the sun gets down. The remainder of my bag is just food. To feed my family of five for three days, that's 45 meals. But just that alone, it's 20 pounds here. Let me kind of show you three different types of meals that I have in this bag. The first type of meals I have are these Mountain House dehydrated backpacking meals. They're very light, they're not that expensive, and they only take about one or two cups of boiled water to cook. If you have to carry all your food on your back, hands down, this is the best way to go. However, I find that if you eat nothing but these for three days straight, you get super constipated, which saves on toilet paper. The next type of meal I have are these MREs, or Meals Ready to Eat. These are based off what they give the soldiers in the field. They're more diverse and they have more calories than the backpacking meals. The biggest problem is that they're heavy. They're also expensive, and some of the companies that sell them are a little bit fast and loose with how they package these. The real cool part about MREs is you don't need to bring any uh, cooking utensils. There's a little pouch in here and you add water to it and it causes a chemical reaction that heats up your meal. So you can have a hot meal with nothing more than this pouch. And I think tonight I am gonna try out these MREs. And if you like any of this stuff, I'm gonna put links in the description to where I got this. I actually bought this from a local company here in Virginia. The final type of meal I have in my bag are these emergency rations. They're just like little power bars, and this right here is 3,600 calories. They're actually really tasty. I like these better than Cliff Bars or any of the energy bars they have on the markets, and the kids will eat them a lot more than they do those other products as well. They're super compact, and they last forever, so it's no big thing to throw a couple bricks of these in your bag. All right, now that I've shown you what's in my kit, I'm gonna pull out some of these MREs and we're gonna see if the heaters work and we're gonna taste them and see what we think. Also, Becca's got the kids in the trailer and here in a few minutes, she's gonna show us what food she brought. Hey guys, how does beef ravioli and chicken breast in barbecue sauce sound? Good. Uh-oh, it looks like it might be raining, so Becca's busting out her 72-hour uh, kit awning. It started thundering over there. We might get some rain, so I'm gonna get my shelter up in a hurry. Five sleeping bags and mats and a tent is massively bulky, but it's not that heavy. 
So I decided to make it into a separate bag. That way, depending on the emergency, I can choose to grab this or not grab it. I've got a three-man dome tent in my kit. It's a really tight fit with our family of five, but my kids are still little, so we can get away with it. Oh, here it comes. It's rain poncho time. It looks like this is getting serious. I bet you really regret bringing the RV now, don't you? All right, I gotta get this poncho off. It is so flipping hot. Oh, oh I smell like dirty dog. Got a little problem. The stakes to the tent weren't in the bag. And so I didn't stake down the tarp. And so the tarp's letting a lot of rain into the tent. I got the tarp staked down, but it really wasn't made for this. It's like wearing a mini skirt in the winter time. Just doesn't cover enough. Well, this poncho is completely unbreathable and stifling hot. But gosh darn it, it's keeping me bone dry. So I like the poncho. I've got water leaking through the walls of the tent and pooling down here on my pad. I'm using my poncho to try to keep my pad dry. There's a good amount of water pooling on the bottom of this tent already. This is where having waterproof bags really comes in handy. I can put it up against the wall of the tent and still keep my stuff dry. This little rainstorm's really exposing the flaws of my tent. I might be able to fit my whole family in here in good weather, but when it's bad like this, we need to cook inside, we need to store our gear inside, you can't touch the walls, and so this becomes a much smaller space. I need a better tent, and I need a bigger tent if I'm gonna actually use this in survival situations. Well, Beck and the kids really wanted to try out the MREs and check them out, so, uh, I better put on my poncho and head on over there. <laughs> Don't tell Becca, but I think the awning is absolutely brilliant. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, hey, babe. Woo, every time I take that poncho off, it smells like dead dog. You having fun? Yeah. All right, guys, let me give you a tour of Becca's 72 hour kit. And you can see it's got a kitchen, a little bathroom shower, which where we keep all the wet clothes. Got a little closet right there. And it's got a set of bunk beds and we got the top bunk folded up right now so I could sit down and use that as a seat. Got a queen bed and we have another bunk bed up here that folds down the boys sleep in. This also turns into a kitchen table. And I got a little TV which we never use and it's got a little fridge. Do you like a cold Hawaiian sun from my 72 hour kit? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Was that strawberry lily koi flavored Hawaiian sun? Oh, you're a beautiful woman. You know you want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to bust open one of these MREs. Yeah. Cheddar potato with artificial bacon bits spread soup mix. And then this is the cardboard sleeve. Tear this open, fill it up to this line. Tuck our entree in there. Now we got a little bit of smoke coming out and the heater's pressed up against the entree. That should warm that up. Just let that sit for a few minutes. You guys want to try the applesauce? This is soldier applesauce. It tastes like old applesauce mixed with mac and cheese. These don't taste old. They're huh. in my 72 hour kit. <laughs> oh. We're gonna try the coconut peanut butter spread. Mmm, I actually like that. That coconut peanut butter spread's good. Try that. Like mm. that? It's good. It is. It is good. Yeah, the coconut peanut butter is good. Let's see. Meal's pretty hot, but not so hot that it burns my hands. And uh, voila, beef ravioli. That actually looks pretty good. I like it. Um, Thank That's you. okay. It's about on par with canned ravioli. Which is I also in my 72 hour kit. Hello. All right, let's crack this one open. Oh, hello. 
Well, this must be the beef brisket. That's actually pretty good. The, the MREs are not dehydrated, which was what makes them heavier, but man, they taste a lot better than the uh, dehydrated meals. That was, uh, that's actually pretty good. Oh my goodness. What's that? There's Pop-Tarts in here. There's a piece of Pop-Tart. You like that? Huh? Santa Fe style rice and beans. There's here, the Santa Fe beans and rice. So Bea, what do you got there? This is my mess of a 72 hour kit. I was in a hurry, so I just threw it in a box and I have plenty of room, so it worked. Um, I have my obligatory first aid kit. Um, I added some kids medicine, some adult medicine, um, some earplugs, hand sanitizer. A muffin mix makes good pancakes. Just add water and then you don't need to bring syrup. Oh yeah, Chef Boyardee. Mm -hmm. Good, hot, or cold. Nice. Vanilla bars. Snacks. Fruit snacks. Nathan's favorite cup of noodles. Cup of noodles. Mm -hmm. Spaghetti and meatballs. Shelf stable milk. This milk doesn't have to be refrigerated. Oh, look at you. This is even easier than an MRE. Mac and cheese for Nathan. <laughs> yeah. Check it out, it's something I made. Just two bent pieces of steel from Lowe's. A piece of wood and uh, keeps the boys from rolling out of bed. It just goes underneath the mattress like so. You like that? Yeah. Just put the rails in upside down and then when you fold up the beds they stay out of the way. All right we got Jacob down here, we got mommy over here, Tom and Nate chilling up top. We gotta get these boys to bed. Mom brought a bunch of battery powered fans and uh, the boys are digging that because it's hot in here. You like the fan? Yeah. Well, the kids are to bed and we're going to sit out here and watch Fireflies and then maybe a movie on my phone. That doesn't count as cheating because I brought the phone and the solar charger. The Becca brought the camping chairs. <laughs> and we're here just a few feet away at the riverside and we're checking out these tide pools for all the little creatures at night and it's really fun. Oh, it's over here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Nice little crawfish. The fish, see him right there? Little creek chub. You see him? Got him. Oh, he's molting, I can feel it. Okay. Is that cool, Becca? That was so cool. <laughs> All right, let's go and watch a movie. <laughs> okay. Well, it's getting pretty late and we've had a good time, but Becca and the kids are asleep in the RV and I guess, uh, guess I'm gonna Go to sleep by myself over here in the tent. <laughs> oh, this tent is so waterlogged. More water up there. Better not fall off my mat. <sighs> I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I was alone in my wet, soggy tent last night and it started raining buckets again. And I realized that everything I love was in this 72 hour kit. So I decided to come over here and join the party. No regrets. <laughs> you guys sleep well? Yeah. And my Becky. Oh, you got your blankie. So you really think ours is better? I'll admit that there are some benefits to, to your 72 hour kit. <laughs> and it doesn't have half an inch of water at the bottom of it. <laughs> it. It rained pretty hard all night long. I kept waking up and shining the spotlight out the window to make sure the river hadn't rose and taken out my tent. <laughs> but uh, we're good. Yeah, this half of the pillow is soaking. The mat is soaking over there. That's a good puddle of water there. Yeah, I made the right call last night. <laughs> I just should have made it sooner. We definitely need to get a better tent for our 72 hour kit. I am very glad everything was in waterproof bags. Oh my goodness. You want me to make breakfast? <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> Time to make my princess some breakfast in bed. This one is hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. When I bought these MREs, I bought like twice as many as we need for our 72 hour kit. I figured they'd be good for camping. And plus, you always want to test them out before you throw them in your 72 hour kit. There's the obligatory cracker, grape jelly, table syrup, pork sausage patty. There's a Cinnabon in here. It's a Cinnabon Pop Tart looking thing. Mom gets first bite because she gave birth to you. You gave them life, Becca. You don't have to share.
let's sit on the stoop. Let's see if the hash brown and sausage is done. Oh, that's feeling nice and toasty. Really is heated up to a nice temperature. Oh, I don't know why this one came with a spoon. It's okay, yeah. Where are you going? Two sets of crackers and two things of grape jelly. You guys go and share that. Me and Becca really like the hash browns and sausage, but the kids don't. They, they did not approve. If you have a lot of kids, there's always one of them that doesn't like what you cooked for them. So having a variety of foods can sometimes make things a little bit easier. So I kind of like having the MREs and some real food and a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It, it helps. I really had a good time testing out these 72 hour kits and it opened my eyes to uh, ways we can improve them. I definitely need to get a better tent. And I definitely think Becca was right in bringing spare clothes. I mean, I, I didn't pack any spare clothes and that's just completely unrealistic. Our two 72 hour kits uh, exposed a fundamental difference in how we approached this. Becca was more about everyday comforts and I was more about extreme survival. And I think both approaches have a lot of value. Guys, did you have fun? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well, hopefully you guys had fun too. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to... Click subscribe! If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching. My 72-hour kit has pastries.